Hey guys, welcome back to Geometry Dash. The Reveling 2. Last time went pretty well. Got a decent amount of progress, but we did get that section that was pretty much just screen fades to black and it's completely free. Which made it a lot easier. Sorry, I was moving my mouse. So I didn't press the button until quite late then, which made me just a little bit too low to jump over the thing after I did start pressing the button. But that's fine. But yeah, we were very, very close. Okay, we've done it again. Yeah, we're very, very close to making it further because it was free. It's just I made a mistake. Instead of pressing the button twice, I pressed it once. I actually can't remember. I just remember that I went into... Because like I'm now recording these one at a time. So, one a day keeps the me happy. I don't know. But either way, I was trying to press the button quickly then to bounce off both things. And by that I mean bounce off the first thing, jump off of the floating thing and hold the button. But I accidentally held the button immediately because I was pressing the button too quickly. Oops. My finger never left, left the key. My bad. But yeah. Um, there's the bit where you go off the bounce pad, and then I thought you had to bounce off the thing, but instead you go onto a thing above your head, you jump off of that, then you go to the next thing. So yeah, I gotta do that this time, rather than what I did last time, which was a bit silly, but I can see where I was coming from. You may have not done, but still. Or may not have done, I should have said. One second. As I let go of the button to try and go directly down the path. Like, my bre- My bre? I still don't know why it's dying there when I'm holding the button. Yeah, my brain swears that I was- I had let go of the button before I died. Might just be eyeball delay, I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure I was letting go of the button. Maybe those things aren't a perfect angle, because yesterday we did die, um, somehow, on a sort of cheatsy bit, where I was going at a 45 degree angle with something and still died to it. Still don't know how that happened. But, well, that was just a bit mean, I guess. Okay, one second. Once again! That time I definitely let go slightly too late. I acknowledged that one. That one was on me. The other one must have just been much closer or something. Ah! We've made that twice. We just need to make it past that bit. And then make it into the spaceship part. The spaceship part is a bit where I made it on the third, like the first attempt I actually tried it. The other attempts were just sort of not quite knowing what I was doing and instantly dying, but the one attempt where I actually tried to do it worked. Which was good. So, let's hope we can clutch that again. Because it seemed quite smooth and fluid and nice. And we need it to be like that every time, or we are going to have problems, you know? And I do not wish to have the problems. Those are bad. We need the goodness. The goodness is what we need, and what we require is sustenance. Ah! You heard me clicking, since I was being really quiet, you heard me clicking on the second one. It was just slightly late. Gerd, damn it. It's not even that hard. Like, it's kinda hard if you're clicking at the wrong time, like, you gotta be doing it in the dips. Since it's ziggy zaggy, you gotta zigzag in the zigzags. If you do it towards the peaks, you're not gonna have a good dime. Dime? Time. I can't speak! Wow. Well, that was impressive. The fact that I managed to dip that so perfectly into there. It's pretty beautiful. Pretty sad. Pretty sad. But pretty beautiful. Wow. 
I thought I was high enough to make that not necessarily smooth, but just about into the gap. Instead, it was too early. I thought it'd be too late, if anything. Making that also kind of impressive. Do do. Sorry, that bit every time just goes from my head because it's just as long as I'm not talking at that moment, I'll tend to just go do do. Don't know why it jumps so slowly there when I was pressing the button. Like I always press the button like a certain amount of times. I don't even know how many times it is. That's like showing you that. I didn't make that strat, my brain made that strat and just does it every time. That time I did it as well, but it seemed to escalate much slower, which is a little weird. See? It wasn't even near to the wall that time, and like it felt smooth. It didn't feel like, ooh, I was a bit close to that wall, so it was like the perfect run through. So a little bit confused, but oh well. Slightly too low. I did press the button to try and level it off because I had a feeling it would level off slightly quickly because I let go slightly earlier. But like I said before, on the round of the computer died, that if you do it slightly early, you are going to fail. There is no um, plan B, so to speak. You just got that to deal with. No plan B, you just got to go for it. So if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. And it's your fault. It's completely your fault if that goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know why, I just really like this bit. It's so calming. Except for when you bonk off of a thing you can't even see. I haven't bonked off of that for quite a while. Sounds a little bit sad. Yeah. That bit's so calming. It just goes to a nice little steady piano bit. It's not super hard, apart from the next bit. But you just died to that bit, so it's not hard. Oh, so it is hard. No, I'm just bad, and I said things backwards, because I'm smart as well. He lied. Sorry. This music's just in my head. Like, is it bad that this song comes into my head just in my daily life now? Because it's just catchy. But it's just so nice and piano-y, this bit. Piano-y. Thanks, Brain. You're real good at these words. Let go of the button. Barely too early. God, that was bad. That was so bad. I needed to blink. Like before that bit, I was like, "Oh, I need to blink. My eyes are dying." But I knew if I did that, it would have killed me. So I went for it. And it was such a good attempt. I made it past the hard bits in the ziggy zaggy, and then I just completely done goofed. Yeah, I had a feeling that's gonna happen. I was really close to the far right wall. And then my jump on the bit where you go down was extremely early, so I don't really think there was a way out of that one. I made a, I made a bad. But oh well, we're doing okay today, though. We haven't made progress yet, but we're doing okay. We haven't had too many just awful attempts, especially like consecutively. That was close. Yeah, that time I had a low one because I felt quite close to the wall. That's what I wanted in the last attempt, but I jumped really early because I'm an idiot. Once again, a done goof. Or oh, I didn't exactly bonk, I just rode along the ceiling of a thing that I couldn't see. Ling. Ha ha. So funny. I didn't press the button, but also, I is what are you doing? You need to rub my eyes, it feels like there's something in them. Which would not be good, that would be very bad. But yeah, I don't know what happened there. How did I die again? Oh yeah, it went up. I did, I did stop pressing the button. I got into a consistent rhythm of stopping pressing the button. Did an input stick? I don't know. But I was not pressing that button. Maybe like, the jump pad bugged out or something? And like held an input and made me fly into space? I don't have a clue. Like, that's such a small thing to jump over without hitting the jump pad, which makes it so hard to do. Plus the fact that I know I wasn't pressing the button. That was bad. I had a feeling I was going to be too short, so I had to click again. I was wrong. Did not have to do that thing. That was a horrible mistake. 
But earlier today, like, I started to, to not I say practice, but just play this level for a few, for a little while. While Andy was here, didn't play much of it. Don't worry, you didn't miss out on anything really. I failed extremely badly, <laughs> but it was a good time. Andy was watching, and uh, Andy was not following very well because, like, she needs glasses when she reads and stuff. Like, she hasn't worn glasses for a while, but it helps her to read when she has glasses and stuff. But. When she was watching, apparently when she started looking around, like, the walls would start moving. I had that at some point while playing this game. Like, in the early stages of me playing the game, I would come off of it afterwards and then look at the wall. The wall would be moving. And I'd be like, uh, why? What's happening? So I'm pretty sure that's what's happened to Andy. She was like, everything is moving. Which is kind of funny. Because it's not, like, a deadly thing. It's just... Kind of amusing. Pardon me. Yeah, I showed her up to just after the ziggy zaggy bit, and then I basically died immediately because I wasn't going to go further than that because I didn't want to risk getting progress off of camera. The things I do for you. Okay. Oh, I didn't quite press the button in time, but that is easy. That is so easy. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Progress. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. But that bit is easy. I don't know why I keep failing at it. I think it's just because my brain is expecting something to go wrong. It's because I'm going so slowly. My brain's not used to the speed. But that felt good. It felt super smooth. Like again, the spaceship. Once you level out, you can get that part real nice. Maybe I fluked it both times, but it felt pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty nice. Pretty nice. So now I made it to 74, I saw. Oh, I didn't quite pull up in time. I was not prepared for the sp like the speed of it going instantly downwards. God damn it! But we made it there again. We could have gone further, but for some reason my brain just wasn't prepared. Even though it knows what was coming or knew what was coming, I should say. Wow, this level like is coming to be quite nicely now. But I'm pretty sure after the slow cube section, it's probably going to be that really hard slow spaceship section that I sucked out on the first try. So that's gonna be a pain. Why did it hit that? I was so low and I was like holding the button so it go downwards but it just didn't. Did I like bug the game and I like, pressed the button the pixel as I was going into the thing and it held the input of beforehand or something? Or just before I went into the thing I pressed the button so it held the input of me going up even though my um, physical appearance was I was upside down. I don't know. All I know is I was holding the button and it did not go down. Which was a little bit strange. But oh well. Smooth. Also smooth. It surprised me like how like fast I'm getting used to these levels. Like it's been a lot of episodes, but like it's because I have to get used to the parts I'm at. The parts that I'm at I tend to get used to quite quickly. Yep, I went slightly too early and held the button slightly too long. To get into those sections, I don't know why, I seem to have to hold the button for a little bit to get into a rhythm. I don't know why I keep dying there. Stop it. Yeah, I don't know why I keep I keep doing these things. Because... Oh, it went up again. Hate it when it does that. Hate it. Do -do. Yeah, what was I saying? I was saying something. Whatever it was, it's gone from my brain now. God damn it. I hate it when that happens. Why do I die there so often? And by so often, I mean, like, why? That's so easy. Yeah, I get used to these um, sections 
Not I say quickly, but usually within an episode or two. Like if I make it to there, or a part in like in the first 20 minutes, I can usually get it down by the end. As long as I make it there enough times. Sorry, I had to swallow. Like, I want to drink some of the glorious, delicious moisture that's next to me in the name of apple and blackcurrant juice. Ouch. One second. It's good juice. It's good juice. Sorry, right, it's really needed to drink. And it's nice. Andy doesn't like it. Andy prefers the good old cherries and berries variety of squash juice stuff. Like the difference between squash and juice isn't like like my experience with juice is it's more juice and squash is more like not much flavour. So I've never really liked that. I like a drink with a bit of a punch, one that you can be like, yeah, that's got flavour to it. It doesn't just taste like really bland water. Because no one really likes the taste of water. I'm not saying like you shouldn't drink it if you have nothing else. I'm just saying. It's not exactly it's unpleasant, it's just meh. If you could choose something else, you'd probably choose something else. Which is why I feel kinda bad for people that have to just drink water. But that's why I don't talk in that section as you saw. Stop dying there when I'm holding the button! What are you doing? Like, it's not even going into a gap, it's just sliding and then just going bleh and instantly dying. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. It's not even that like it's happening consistently, but it's happening enough for it to be the section, most likely, not the mouse. As much as the mouse is just, like, melting away and it's like, I can't do anything. But you know what, that's the, that's, the, that's the mouse's problem. Well, it's my problem, but it's the mouse doing it. The, ma the mouse can't really have a problem, it's an inanimate object. Inanimate has always been a weird word. Like, inanimate is one of those words that's very hard to pronounce and write down. Like, my brain stumbles over it when it's trying to like spell it out. Like, I'm the kind of person that can't spell out words if it's in my head. I have to be writing it down to spell it. I can't just spell by just saying it. My brain can't cope with that. I don't know why. Is that a common thing? I hope it is. Because it's just really difficult. One second. Oh, it's just too high. I had to get myself over those spikes. That's what happens when it's not going smooth. Since I let go slightly too early, so I had to pitch it up again a little bit. So it was going up by the time it needed to have the downward momentum, which screwed me. Otherwise, that was perfect. I really like that bit. That bit's quite nice, if you get the line right. Like, it's a sort of thing where if you're not getting right, it feels wrong, but if you, like, get it right, it feels good. It feels just smooth. There's nothing apart, apart it, about it that feels jank or bad. It just feels like it's precise and very fluid as well. It's quite good. God damn it. I was so high up, I wanted to let it get a little bit further down. I knew if I kept a straight line from where I was, it was not going to go well. And it was going to hit one of the top spikes, but instead, because that bit is so fast and it's literal, probably not even full milliseconds, you got to change your decision. It goes a little bit wrong a little bit fast. Just a tad. But oh well. But either way, tonight feels like it's going to be quite a good recording night. I, I want to say I don't know why, but... Like, if you saw the Isaac video that went up before this, you'll know why. And this is, is going well. I'm getting things consistently. Um, I've made progress already. I need to make some more. I can make more. But I don't know if I will. I'm certainly capable. 
since I've made it there once and I died in a really easy place. I just wasn't quite sure what was coming. But if we get there again, I'll hopefully make progress. Smooth. Go. Oh, you got a jump there. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm counting that as more progress. As much as we didn't get numbers, we basically made it the same distance, but we went the right way. Ah, oh, my brain didn't quite know what to do because of all the flashy colours. I've got to hold the jump button, not jump off the first floaty thing, jump off the second floaty thing. Got it. Last time I just didn't jump in time. But now I know what i got to do. And then we got to work it out from there once again. See, I told you. I'll make it next time. I didn't make progress, but still. Oh, I did the thing where I accidentally held the button when I was trying to press it too quickly once again. God damn it. Gosh, you darn it. Ain't that just a little bit of a shame there? Don't you know? Oh, well. Oh, well. It's okay. <laughs> once again, when I wasn't speaking, it's just doo-doo going through my head. Not doo-doo, I don't have doo-doo going through my head. I was a little close to the wall, so I tried to sneak, or well, sneakily, um, not get the fourth or fifth or however many jumps I do there. Basically, I tried to cut down on one jump so, I'd be, so I wouldn't be in such a bad spot, but it made it worse. Definitely made it worse. Yep. That's what happens when you got um, an idiot. A massive, massive idiot. No, I was going to say, that's what happens when your um, index finger, not your index finger, your middle finger, whatever the scientific word for that is, accidentally presses the right mouth button. Mouth button? Mouse button. And my brain just went, ah, I don't know what to do. I'm not going to do that. Because my brain is focusing on pressing one button. So when I accidentally press another, my brain just goes into overload of, oh, God, what implications does that have? Is that a bad thing? Should I do that thing? What should I do to stop that thing? And then I'm not thinking about the game and then I die. Basically, a brain overload. Which is not good when you're playing a game such as this, where you got to be on your toes at all times and be on the ball and precise. See what I mean about that part being a bit unfair? I'm pretty sure they're not perfect 45 degree angles. And I now have evidence that shows this. That they are not perfect 45 degree angles. Or my vehicle isn't going at a perfect 45 degree angle next to it. Because whatever just happened there was not okay. That was not okay. I made it through. Alright, I made it through that thing. There's nothing you can do to show me that I didn't. I let go of the buttons. I didn't have anything else to do. I'd made it. You were just cruel game. <laughs> that one was quite bad. That one was quite bad. Let's try and not be as bad this time. We made it there. There was like milliseconds once again of like difference in life and death but I didn't have the timings as you could probably have guessed it was pretty bad pardon me excuse moi come on must make it there again must oh we got the invisible um, bonk threw me off a little I shouldn't have died there that was still pretty bad but I will admit I got thrown off slightly. As much as that's on me. Come on. Oh, just go away with your loud motorbikes. It's late. You should not be riding the motorbike. Brikes? The motorbikes this late. You probably shouldn't be riding a motorbike at all because the motorbikes are deadly, deadly things. So are cars. Yes, but at least a car has things that'll protect you from things. Get hit side on from a car. Then you have a door to protect you, airbags will probably go off, a lot of safety. Motorbike, you're gonna have your leg trapped against the bike. Yeah. 
squashed between two hard metal things. That's bad. Gah, it's a little high. A little high. Yeah, that's bad. You don't have your legs squashed between two metal things. That's probably going to break a lot of things. And possibly cause amputation. Like, sure, a lot of the energy is going to be absorbed. But you'll also, like, be pushed away. So it's not like you're being squashed against a brick wall. It's not going to be completely crushed. But you're still having your leg squashed between two things. It's not going to feel too good. And, like, if you come off the bike... Sure, you can be wearing safety equipment. You're probably still gonna suffer something if you come off of that bike. If you slide, maybe you won't get that hurt as long as you're wearing a proper jumpsuit motorbike thing. But come on, it's not safe, you know? Didn't mean to hold the button there. I thought I'd be able to jump through the gap as well because I jumped, not to say early, but early enough. But that was a horrible mistake. Especially when I had a chance to do something, but, oh well, that was a bit scary, uh, that was bad, that was real bad, don't look at what just happened, that was embarrassing, you did not see what just happened, but yeah, if you're, like, if you're sliding, and you're wearing the proper equipment, you're probably not going to suffer too much, it's probably not going to feel too good at the same time, but imagine if, like, you're not on flat terrain, and there's bumps in that area. And what if you go into another vehicle? Hmm? In a car, you're probably not going to fly out unless you are the one that's not wearing the seatbelt. And if so, that's your fault. And if it's your child, then it's your fault the child's not wearing the seatbelt. You should be a parent and make the child wear that goddamn seatbelt. Jesus. I'm sorry. But it's true. This goes out to you as well, Chris. I know that you mentioned that you were doing... Or not doing, but you hadn't... Or you were had or was going to buy a motorbike at some point. Don't do it! Leave the motorbikes alone. It's terrifying. You should not be doing these things. Motorbikes are scary. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Who's bad? Oh, my nose. My nose is bad because it's itchy. Oh my god. I had to take my focus off there and like scratch. Oh my god, it's doing it again. It's not even like at the end of my nose, it's like barely on the interior. On like the middle bit. Oh my god, it's doing it again. Ah! Uh, and then a bonk and cause death. Oh my god! Don't look at this. This is bad. I'm blaming my nose. My nose is causing problems. My nose is causing. Humongo problemos. Uh, Oops. Oh well. <sighs> Can we start having some good attempts again? My nose itches to run away. I'm pretty sure it was a hair, because it was one of those tickly ones. It wasn't like, hey, there's something in here that you need to sneeze out. It was just sort of, hey, I'm going to tickle the outside. Well, not outside. The just on the inside of your nose, what are you gonna do about it? And I'm just like, hey, it's not it's not cool. Don't do that thing. I'll slap you. Slaps will be given. I won't, because it's a hair. What is slaps gonna do to a hair? Hmm. <laughs> if it's like the animal that's called a hair, maybe it'll do something. But probably not to a like just a hair that's meant to be on your head or wherever your hairs are growing. Don't say between your legs, that's not okay. Alright, none of that please. None of that. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? One second, gotta focus! I did the extra click, didn't think I was gonna make it. God damn it. I need to not do that. I need to let it dip and click if I'm too low. That's how to make it smooth. Don't click when you're high up. Okay, that's the next step to teaching myself what to do there. That is the next step. That part is not hard. It is 
super clean, super smooth, just like me. <laughs> what am I saying? All oh, the hair's back. Oh no! Get it out of there! I can't. I was trying to, but I think it's still there. I've gotta leave it. I've gotta leave it. I can't be waving my hands in front of my face trying to get rid of a hair. Please don't come back and bug me. Come on! Oh, you gotta jump over that! Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was just gonna bounce me, but it flipped my gravity. Okay, more progress. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. This is my brain isn't quite understanding what I've gotta do in time. I'm not noticing the colour of the bounce pads, which is my problem. Plus, like, I don't, I'm not sure where they're gonna take me, which is my problem. If it's simple jumps, like it is in, like, the first level of the game, I can understand where my jump's gonna take me. I know how far it's gonna take me. But when it's stuff like this, it's like, okay, trial and error. I don't quite know what this is gonna do. Let's see what it does and work from there. But then you tend to have to make quick decisions, which screws me over. Let's do this again. Oh my god, we're doing it again! Go! Oh, I was too close to the thing! Wow! Okay, let's try not to have that happen again. That's now a concern. I didn't know that could happen. I did the first part a little bit jankily, which I think set me up quite badly. Otherwise, that would have been quite good, I feel. That may have been more progress. This is proven, like, the consistency that I'm getting in this level now, which is good. It's good. We're like now in like the final 30 seconds, 20 seconds. I don't know. How long is the level? I'm going to say 30 seconds is the final part we're in now. So we've done most of it. Okay, focus. Oh, I went slightly too high. Wow. Like, I wasn't even quite holding the button. I was sort of tapping it. Didn't know I could quite do that. That's alright, though. That's alright. That was embarrassing. Oh, God. Nobody look at what just happened. What just happened is between you and me. You did not see it. You didn't see anything. Good old Madagascar references. Wasn't that original Madagascar? Yeah, I think it's when the penguins trying to escape and then there's Marty who is seeing them escape and they're like, you didn't see anything. Marty's like, wait, I wanna come with you! Wait for it! Gosh, you remember, I haven't seen that film in ages. It's probably my least favourite Madagascar as a child. It was like, oh my god, Madagascar, and now it's just like, yeah. If I saw it, I'd be perfectly fine to watch it, but probably not my favourite. The third one's definitely my favourite, I think. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Oh, I was trying to bounce off the bottom thing. That's progress, man. I count that as progress. Oh, now I'm just failing constantly. But that was good. I just tried to bounce off of the bottom thing instead of the top thing. What I need to do there is press the button and wait until the next thing to jump off of. I'm getting it, though. I'm getting it. And I'm making it there more than enough. Like, it's not... I don't know why it didn't jump there. I pressed the button. Like, I was rolling across it when I pressed it since I've been waiting a little longer to start pressing the button, because it's not actually that hard. Because it's the one block tires that's hard to do. That one I've now found really easy, because I'm actually waiting to press it. Which has been helping. 
So I don't know why I didn't jump there. See? I don't do it immediately. I wait a little bit. Oh, I've had a feeling that happen. God damn it. Oh well. Oh well. But yeah, like, we should be able to get through that, like, full, um, cube section in the video. I was gonna say I expect to do it in one attempt because it's a cube section, they're, like, the easiest in the game. Yes and no, because, like I say, with the not quite sure where it's gonna take me, there's that, but you get it down eventually. But, because it's, like, you're moving slowly, it's very tight stuff, makes it kind of hard to do. So it's just trial and error on all the sections for me currently. But I think we can get through it in this video though. Like that entire section. We'll see. Gah! That bit is so tight, that's why I go quiet for that bit, because as much as it's not necessarily super hard, it's just so tight. Because of the timings, like, it's not even that tight of a gap, when you consider, like, how long it'll take you to travel from, like, one wall to the other, if you're going in the opposite direction, like, if you're going up instead of down, then it becomes kind of tight, time-wise. But the good thing about that vehicle is there's no risk of accidentally, like, clipping anything really. As apart from if you're, like, ridiculously close to a wall, apparently, you can clip it. And that's happened twice now, so I'm 100% sure it's possible. 100%. Like, the one that happened first, I was going upwards, so if I let go of the button, I could have gone down. But now that it's happened in the opposite direction, so I'm going down and then I clip a thing that's below me. I'm an idiot, because I was talking. God damn it. But yeah, since I've done it while going down, the only way to change my direction is to go up by holding the button. I hit a thing below me, means that was impossible to hit, since I was already going that direction, and it didn't change angle. Unless I somehow managed to go underneath the portal, and then just kept going and hit the ground, but I doubt that. That seems a little bit unlikely. But, oh well. It's not happening often, which is good. If I get better at it, I shouldn't be as close to the edge, making it impossible. One would hope, at least. And I am that one to hope, currently. Ah, oh, my first death there. That's kind of sad. Oh well, oh well. We can do this. I want to make more progress. So far we've made like 4 or 5% progress. Which is quite a bit for me. In all honesty, like, it doesn't feel that bad. This level is probably one of my most, like, loved levels in the game right now. Not gonna lie, it's feeling really good, really smooth, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> like, it's probably my favourite video on this level so far. Yeah, I was very high up there, I'm glad I realised that. That saved my life. Like, I gently tapped the button and was already nearly in those spikes on the ceiling. Jesus Christ. Okay. I was trying to get high enough so I could just let go of the button. I shouldn't do that thing. That thing is bad. I should just go for it. Oh well. Oh well. Doesn't look like we're gonna get to an hour in the video, we might get to 50 minutes. It would not shock me. It would not. Since we're at nearly 40 minutes now on 70th attempt. Or in the 70s. Which means there's another... Like... Quarter of the attempts to go. And a quarter of 40 equals 10 meaning 50 minutes. Boom, maths in your face. I hadn't even worked that out before then, which is why you heard me thinking. Which is very hard to do to hear someone think. Ah, that was bad, that was so bad. But it's just because the numbers sort of worked out in my head. I don't know why they do that. Like, pardon me, oftentimes in maths... Wow. That hasn't happened for a while, but yeah, oftentimes in math, this doesn't happen every time, a lot of times it goes wrong, but sometimes, and it's usually quite close, 
But sometimes in math, like, my brain can just see numbers and work out a pattern and just say, yeah, that's that maths equation. And then I'll work it out and be like, wow, it actually was. Thanks, brain. Like, I've always found it easy. I don't know if I said this before. I may have done. But I always find it easier to, like, work out the maths equations in my head, which, like, screwed me up at school because the school would always be like, yes, you get extra marks if you do the working out on the paper. And I'm like, but I struggle at doing that. Don't ask me how. It just makes more sense. I don't know why. My brain is just better at it. Like, if I have the numbers written down, and then I can just work it out of my head so I won't forget numbers, that's fine. One second. Okay, that was awful. But yes, when I start to... You do, like, the bus shelter method. I don't know if you do that in America. For division, you sort of... Do the line... You write the numbers, and then you sort of do a line down to the left of the numbers, and then you do a line above them. And then maths happens. And we call that a bus shelter, because it's like a bus shelter. And then there's the... Um... Way to times or multiply numbers together. Brain always, like, struggled with those. Like, my, I remember my mum teaching me how to do that method. At, like, not when I say a super young age, but a reasonably young age, when no one else in school was doing it. And I just did it for fun, because I was like, yeah, I can do maths, one second. I'm an idiot. But yeah, I was doing equations at like a thousand multiplied by two hundred and sixty-two. And it was good fun. I used to get most of them right. And then when they taught me that in school, I completely forgot how to do it because I just went back to doing it in my head because I found it easier that way. Eventually I learned how to do it again. And I still think I know how to do it. You sort of get the numbers, put them together, and if there's an extra one, you put the, that number next to the one in front. And if there's two extra, you put that next to it, and blah de blah Basically, it's just a way to multiply things together. I looked at my phone, because it buzzed at me. God damn it, technology! Yeah. I just find it easy to work it out. So if it stuff's written down in front of me, I can see the numbers easy. Just, I can see the numbers, work it out in my head, done. Since I sort of do the chunking method, I think they call it now, which we never got taught in school, my younger sister had it taught to her in school. My parents never had it taught to her in school. Because my parents were like, What the hell is this? This is stupid. Just do it the old-fashioned way. Because, you know, parents like that. But the way I did it seems to be that method where you sort of work out the big numbers together. So if it's like 500 400, but it's like 562 and 425, you just do the big numbers together. You do the next one, so it should be the 60 and then the 20, put those together, then you do the small numbers, which would be the 2 and the 5, since I'm actually somehow remembering the numbers. It's causing me to fail a lot on Geometry Dash, but still, I'm remembering my numbers, and that would equal 900, and I've kind of forgotten numbers, but I think it was, yeah, I completely forgot. Wasn't it 6? I'm going to work it out from 562 and 400 and 25, because I think those are the numbers. So it'd be 900... Sorry, I'm trying to play the game at the same time, it's kind of difficult. 987, I believe. Like, that wasn't super hard, because... Like, the numbers added into 100 perf like perfectly, so it wouldn't go over 100, so I didn't have to add anything on. And the single digits didn't go into tens, which made it easier as well. So that was just an easy one. But it made it easier because I was playing Jump Cross, and I didn't intentionally make that number easy for myself. Those were just random numbers off the top of my head, which somehow worked for me. Slightly early. Just barely too early. I hate it when that happens. It sucks. Oh well, it's okay. Getting very close to the end of the episode now. I wonder if I can make any more progress. I know I'm capable. I just don't know if I'm going to. Since I've been talking about math, my brain is now just flooded with numbers. And it's just like, Mayday, Mayday. I actually stopped pressing the button there for a second, if you didn't notice. Like, that was very subtle, but I didn't press the button for a second. Well, not a full second, but just the tiniest amount of time, just to make so I wouldn't be too low and instantly die. Very subtle, but... It seemed to save me. Oh, I was pressing the button. How did you dip that low? 
That make me sad. It make me crazy. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, I need another drink. I'll wait till the end of the episode because like it's nearly here. It's probably another five minutes or so. And there's not that much. It's really not that much at all. So I will wait, but I'm not saying I'm going to enjoy waiting. Because my throat is just like uh that was close. Smooth. Okay, I thought the focus for a second because like I said it was close, so I didn't want it to be close again. So when I'm just ten one sec. Oh, I was talking and I was just about to say I'm gonna be quiet, but it threw me off. See? Every time I talk, I die there. But yeah, what was I saying? Something. Screw it. I'm gonna have a drink after this attempt because my throat is just like. Rrr. Apologies for that. But that was good. I needed that. That was very close. It's probably gonna be a bit more than five minutes. I'm gonna guess like seven or eight. Not too much, but you know. Oh, okay, that was not smooth. It might look smooth, and it felt kind of smooth, but from what I normally do, that was not smooth. Because as much as it can be smooth, if it's not what you're normally doing, and it's not your consistent strategy, and it doesn't feel right, it's not smooth. You know? It's not smooth in a consistent way, because oftentimes when I do stuff like that, it'll go very, very wrong. Just like that. Now, that wasn't me doing something differently, that was just me holding the button for just slightly longer than I normally would. Because this level is very precise, as we all know. But we get used to it, and we adapt to it, and then we die constantly. Oh dear god, what's going on? Uh, it's, okay, it's, okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, don't worry now. Don't worry, be a failure now. God damn it. I expect we're gonna get like 43 minutes to this video. Am I gonna be correct? Am I gonna be wrong? I don't know. That's my assumption for now. So, wish me luck. Sorry, that's like the part of the song that I know the most. It's not even like my favorite part, it's just the part that my brain has like acknowledged the most for some reason. Don't ask why, because I cannot give you the answer for that question. Apologies if you are the answer to that question, but it's not coming. The answer's just not coming. I cannot supply you with an answer that I don't know the answer to myself. I'm sorry. Okay, that was really, really lucky. Okay, that's the bit, that's the bit, that's the bit, that's the hard bit. 80% though, we freaking did it. That's 8% progress in this video, that's actually kind of huge for me. Okay, that bit is not hard to get there, but that part is going to be hard. And I acknowledged what vehicle I was going to be, but I wasn't, well I was aware that that part was coming up soon. But I just wasn't prepared for it to be right there, and I wasn't really expecting it to be there. Basically, I wasn't thinking of anything apart from what have they got to do now, what have I got to do now, what have I got to do now. That's, that entire section was in my brain when I was being quiet. And it went well, as much as I still died, but that's expected, because that bit's kind of hard. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to like cut down my clicks in that section. Cause if I click too much, I can like get. I if I click a lot, I'm gonna be going quite high quite fast. Cause I'll probably be clicking so fast that the amount of time I'm pressing the button outweighs the amount of time my fingers off the button. Which means I'll be going up faster than I will be staying level. So if I cut down the clicks, as much as it's gonna make it a little bit more risky, it means I can visually see. If you're going that fast, it's very hard to sort of gauge 
how you're doing, especially when you're trying to do it in that tight space. That was quite bad. That was extremely bad. Yeah, it's very hard to gauge stuff like that, so I need to have that not happen, if that makes sense. That was so close. Yep. Okay, so when it's close, that happens, and it makes me very sad. And it makes me go ouchy. But we made it to 80! It felt so good! All the way up to that point is still not exactly hard. That part is going to be hard, but I feel like we're going to get it down. It's not going to be too bad. But I'm going to fail a bunch of times trying to do it. Like, I'm going to say maybe 10 to 20 attempts to get past that bit once. Uh, I don't mean the bit that I died at. I mean the bit just beyond there. That is still on the screen, as you can see. But, like, I've got to go up. And then dip down again. And I'm talking about not the upside down gravity, I'm just talking about how it looks. That was not good. That was real bad. Don't look at what just happened. It was bad. It was embarrassing. We will not speak of these things again. It was just that bad. Pop me. The juice is juicing. I don't know. Basically, the juice made me burp. I apologize if that offends you, but it's a burp. It's a bodily, bodily natural function. Yes, it's not like it's a natural bodily function. It's a bodily natural function because my brain is good at the words. Like my brain said the words, but my mouth mixed up the words because mouths are smart. Mouths are super smart. They have a brain of their own, apparently. According to moi, <coughs> that was so bad. That was so bad. I didn't even jump. I forgot that you needed to. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. no. Okay. Final four attempts, including this one. That's bad. Oh, it was not bad. I clicked an extra time because I thought my finger had held on the button. Now there's three, because this one, 99, and then 100. See, that's how it works. I looked at the time. Wow. Okay, apparently I don't want to have very many attempts. Okay, this is the last one. Let's try and make it count. I don't want it to be bad. Especially after how well I've been doing today. For me, at least. For a pro, maybe not so much. But for me, it's like something to be proud of. So I am extremely proud of myself, even though it's a video game, but still, shut up. Leave me be, I'm happy with my progression, and I will be, because this has been a very nice recording day. I've enjoyed it quite a bit. It'll be one to remember for the rest of my life, probably not, probably not, but I'll probably remember it, possibly. Ooh, I held the button there, I've never done that before, it worked, focus. Oh, it was a good attempt, though. It was a good attempt. 80% though. Doing pretty good. And nearly an hour now, so we're going to have to start shortening these episodes soon. Well, not shortening them, but shortening the attempts. But for now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you're still enjoying the series. I know I am. This level is a blast. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.